New Year's feeling. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm honestly so excited because reset vlogs are my favorite thing to film. They're my favorite thing to do, which is probably why I like filming them so much. So in this vlog, we're gonna do a mid-year reset, just kind of getting back on track, giving ourselves that like New Year's feeling with that extra milestone of being halfway through the year to kind of just refresh and reflect and get back on track with everything that we want to accomplish for the year. Also just resetting our space, clearing things out, bringing some new life into the home, just all the things to make us feel good and like we're gonna have a successful rest of our year. So no pressure to like do anything crazy for a mid-year reset yourself. I hope this just brings you some kind of fresh energy and inspiration and maybe gives you some ideas for things you might wanna do to set yourself up for success for the rest of the year as well. We're gonna do a bunch of different things in this video, but I wanted to start out with talking about what my goals were for 2023, what I wrote down on, you know, January 1st and how we're doing on all of them so far. And like kind of if I'm recalibrating or changing or doing anything of that sort with my goals. So I'm gonna dive right into that. It took me a second, but I found this list of goals that I had from January and we're just gonna go through them together and talk about what's happening. Okay, so the first one was to grow my audience on TikTok and take more advantage of the opportunities from that. So that one's just kind of continuing to see my audience grow and then taking advantage of things like brand deals or like putting links in my bio, you know, just different things that having an audience on TikTok can kind of open up to you. So I'm really proud of myself on this one. I think I've been doing super well. I've been very consistent with posting every day, sometimes twice a day, um, and I'm really proud of the content that I'm putting out. I feel like this year I really found my authentic voice. As someone who's a vlogger in the vlogging space, like there are so many people sharing their life in the same format, and I found this year kind of my own voice, like a way to put my poetic and artistic self into my everyday vlogs. I've also totally upped my game with like my filming. Just the quality of what I'm putting out I think is really high and then also it feels like the most authentic version of myself that I could be putting out on TikTok in, you know, one to two minute videos. So I'm really proud of myself there. I have had a couple of really cool brand deals this year. Um, I've been doing my best to respond to every message that I get in my email about brand deals. So I'm doing a little bit better on that. I think if I had more time to focus on it, I'd probably be doing kind of more work in the content creation space, but I'm not gonna be too hard on myself on that front because I do so much stuff. So looking at the second half of the year, I just wanna stay super consistent and hopefully get some more brand deals and hopefully keep growing that audience. All of you that are here from TikTok, by the way, I am so grateful for the, you know, 16,000 people in our little internet space that I'm somehow connected to. I think it's a really beautiful thing. So just thank you for, for being there for me. Okay, the second one is about you beautiful people here on YouTube. I was hoping to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, but more importantly was hoping to post two times per month. I was doing pretty well on this at the beginning of the year and posting pretty consistently, but then things got really busy and a little bit hectic in my personal life and I totally fell off of it. So I'm really trying to get myself back on track with that now because I love vlogging for YouTube. I think long form content is really beautiful because I feel like it really invites you in to get to know the person a little bit more and it's not as like distant or as curated. Even being my very authentic self on TikTok, a one minute video is still gonna be curated. Whereas I feel like on YouTube, there's a little bit more kind of space to not curate quite as much so that you can see the most authentic version of myself. So I love YouTube and I wanna keep working towards this goal. But I will say this is one that I think I haven't done quite as well on as I had hoped for for myself. So I'm gonna keep pushing and try to get more more videos out there for you all. Thank you all for being here and being on my little YouTube journey with me. It means a lot to me. The next one was to scale my freelance business and specifically to expand the client funnels for my freelance book editing business. This one we slayed like this. I definitely did this. I redid my entire website um, with professional web designers who are 
very good with SEO, making sure that my website is searchable, coming up when people type in book editor online. I've also started sharing more about my book editing on social media. So both social media and my new website have become organic client funnels for my business. And I am definitely getting more inquiries that way. So this one is a huge success. Everything in terms of my freelance book editing business has been going really beautifully this year. And I am very, very proud of myself. Next one was about passive income. This is another one that I have done really, really well on. Believe it or not, before I didn't even have like a link in my bio. I didn't even have a link tree or anything to direct people to my services or my Amazon storefront or anything like that. I finally did that for myself. I don't know what was holding me back, but I did that and I'm really proud of myself. I also wrote and published my first informational ebook, which is about how to submit and get published for poets. So if you're a poet, you should check that out. It's only $10. It's super cheap, but I'm basically just taking like the questions that I get asked constantly and creating informational resources that I can share with people at a super low price. So the first one is up and available. I will link it below. Um, and I'm working on a second one, which will be about how to become a freelance book editor, because that is one of the biggest questions that I get asked constantly. You know, this is my dream job. I want to be a book editor how did you do it how should I do it where should I start all of this stuff so I'm planning to write and publish a second ebook later this year um, about how to become a freelance book editor my first ebook hasn't really been getting many sales at all so maybe I need to put a little bit more like marketing behind it or something but in any case I'm really proud of myself for at least putting that out there even if the sales aren't super great the next one was to stay consistent with movement and exercise this is always a goal of mine. If you don't know, I'm a professional dancer. I direct a contemporary dance company. My body is my instrument. It's very important to me. Also just health and fitness in general is like an important part of my life. I want to be strong and athletic and mobile and all of these things for a long, healthy life. This one I'm also really proud of myself on. I feel like I've been really consistent. I have been going to the gym to lift twice a week as much as possible and then cross training that with doing yoga and my hit cycling that I do at home, as well as my dance rehearsals. I think kind of just setting that expectation of like lifting two days a week has been really empowering for me because I feel like a lot of what you see is people that lift like five, six days a week in the gym. And that's great, like if that works for you, that's awesome. But I am a very busy person, first of all, and also lifting weights five days a week doesn't necessarily align with my personal fitness goals, which is to be an all around, like well-rounded athlete. So for me, I do need to get in the, the yoga, the cardio, the lifting, all of that stuff. Being able to just say like, all right, so I'm just gonna go to the gym and lift twice a week, I feel like has been really empowering for me because it feels like a goal I can accomplish. And then on all the other days, I can just do a quick workout literally over here in my living room. The next one was to read more to prioritize learning. Obviously I'm a book editor, I read a ton, but because that's my work, I often don't end up actually reading anything that I want to read for myself. So it was a big goal for me this year to read stuff that I wanted to read, educational books and poetry books. And the way that I did that is just by saying, okay, read Reading is going to be a part of my morning routine, just 20 or 30 minutes, not a super high expectation of reading like a book a week or anything like that, but just integrating reading into my everyday life a little bit more. I have been doing okay with this one. I have read a lot of great books this year, but I haven't been 100% consistent with reading every morning. So this is one that I'm hoping to push myself to do a little bit better on throughout the rest of the year. The next one was to brush up on French. So. I had like a hundred day streak on Duolingo with my French lessons. I used to be like conversational, almost fluent in French, and then I lost it because I really wasn't practicing at all. And I felt very sad about that because I, within my life, have been like almost fluent in three languages besides English. So this one, this is me holding myself accountable to get back on Duolingo and keep practicing my French. So the next one that I had on here was to get a promotion or make another big career move. This one is interesting because although I'm still generally interested in it, the big career move, I don't think it's what I thought it was gonna be in January. I am getting to a place obviously where 
my business is doing really well and my social media is really important to me and I'm focusing a lot of my time on it. So I'm really hoping that that is where my career is headed. I can't say a lot about that on the internet right now, just like for my, you know, personal privacy and protection with my current job and everything. But yeah, I think the that big career move is probably not gonna be what I thought it was. And then the last one that I have on here is just to focus more on poetry. What I wrote in January was focus more on poetry, but I think this one has really kind of changed and developed as the year has gone on in that I'm kind of reclaiming myself and my identity as an artist and trying to focus more on my art practices in general because everything I do for work is all about helping other artists achieve their visions, whether it be my book editing, my nine to five, I fundraise for the arts, um, I am the director of a dance company. So all of the things that I do in my life are like helping other artists bring their visions to life essentially. And in that, I love everything that I do, but in that I feel like I lose my own identity as an artist sometimes and prioritize other people's art over my own. So in January, I wrote focus more on poetry, but I think what this goal really is, is reclaim my identity as an artist and place more focused time energy on my personal art practices. So I've really been trying my best to make more time for my own art practice, to schedule in like on this day at this time, I'm gonna work on my poetry or I'm gonna work on my book manuscript or I'm gonna send out a few submissions to some literary journals or I'm just gonna read some poetry and sit with a notebook and see what happens. I'm doing everything that I can to kind of reinvest in myself as an artist. So I'll keep you all up to date on that journey as we go along. All right, those were all the goals that I had written down. I don't think I'd add anything new to that. That's a lot of goals, but I definitely have like kind of changed and shifted some of them. And I will say also just kind of the energy I wanna bring into the second half of the year is one of living in the present moment, exploration, curiosity, adventure. I am very career driven and I'm very achievement oriented and I don't think that that's always a great thing because it's like when you pick your head up from the work, what what is it that you're living for? What is it that you're doing all that hard work for? And so I really have been pushing myself to kind of live in the moment and make sure I'm living now, not just working hard now to like live this life that I'm thinking of later. You know, life is now, it's already happening. So I have to remind myself of that often. That was a lot of me talking. So we're gonna stop now. I will bring you along with the rest of the reset. We're gonna do some cleaning around the house. I have some plants that I wanna repot. I need to clean out my closet. We're gonna do all the resetting things together. So I hope you enjoy this vlog and let's jump right in. <laughs> good cleaning around the apartment. I ran out of time because I had a few meetings that I had to take for work and I'm actually teaching a dance class tonight and I gotta get started preparing for that, just coming up with the choreography for class and all of that sort of thing. So I'm gonna continue cleaning probably more tomorrow and of course I will bring you all along with me. Right, my 
friends, it is now the next day. Started the day doing a bunch of work for my nine to five, so I didn't film that, cause boring. And then I just did the dishes. We had a ton of dishes, so I put away everything in the dishwasher and reloaded it back up. There's just like a few pans soaking in the sink that I'm hopefully gonna get to later. In a few days, we're going on a hiking trip in Acadia National Park, so we're heading out now to go try and find rain jackets at Dick's Sporting Goods because it might be a little bit rainy while we're there and neither of us have rain jackets that we can wear for this. Alright, here's the stuff that I ended up getting. I got this monochrome adidas hat and unexpectedly i decided on the like neon green jacket hold on let me bring you down a little bit that should be good just thought like with an all black outfit this would be a vibe so you can kind of see the vibes with the hat very happy with this purchase <laughs> saw I just planted a couple of things the first one was a basil plant that we got at a farmers market that we randomly found the other day I've always wanted to grow basil I make pesto a lot so I thought it would be fun to have my own basil right now it's probably not enough to actually like clip to make a pesto with but I feel like if it grows and gets a little bit bushier I'll actually be able to use it um, for my pesto in the future if you don't know I direct a contemporary dance company we actually just had a show that concluded over this past weekend and my dancers usually get me flowers um, after every show which is so sweet of them but this time they decided to get me a plant instead which I think is really really sweet because then it lasts forever so I repotted that as well into a pot with some drainage whenever I'm resetting I feel like it's just such a lovely thing to do to like bring new life into your home whether it's just grabbing some flowers from the store or getting a little plant or like an herb like the basil that I got it just brings like a freshness into your space I am probably going to jump back into a little bit of work and then I think I'll pick you back up when I make dinner I'm going to make my famous peanut noodles making healthy nutritious wholesome food is also another thing I love to do when I'm resetting because it just makes my body feel so good. It is time to get started on some dinner. Here's what we have over here so far. So I'm doing the Thai peanut noodles. I am using some tofu and then for veggies I have broccoli, some mushrooms, and baby corn. Just the rice noodles which is the base of the dish. I'll get everything out to make the sauce in a minute. Um, and then I also have some chicken breast over there that I am going to make on the side for my husband. So I'm just gonna chop everything up and then get that cooking and then we'll start making the sauce.
friends. It is the next day. We are finishing up our reset today. My husband and I are heading out on our trip to Acadia National Park tomorrow. So as you saw, I did a hit cycling workout on my bike and showered off. I was literally so sweaty. It's 90 degrees out today. I have the AC. We don't have central air, but we do have like a window unit AC. I have that on and it's still like 80 degrees inside of our apartment. But anyways, I put in a load of laundry earlier, so I need to go take that out, sort it out, put the rest of the clothes away. That's pretty much the end of all of the home resetting stuff. Um, and then I need to dry dry my hair and pretty much the rest of the day I'm just focusing on getting ready for the trip so I'll probably end the vlog once I'm done kind of cleaning up and resetting around the house. Let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this Halora exercise dress that was like really trendy online a couple years ago. I definitely gave in to the ad and got influenced to buy it and I'm not actually sure how I feel about it. I'm not sure if it's too small on me or if I just don't like how it fits. My favorite part about it is that under the skirt it has like this whole bodysuit, has little pockets, um, but something about the way that this fits me is just not my favorite. Hold on. Let me... I feel like it just goes too like out. I don't know, maybe it's because I have a big booty and thighs but I feel like it just like goes straight out like this I don't know maybe I just need to size up I'm not sure anyways it still is like the perfect thing to wear around the house on a hot day like this so we're rocking it and I kind of wanted to decide if I wanted to bring my exercise dresses on our hiking trip or not I'm kind of leaning towards not because I'm not not vibing with this right now anyways I'm gonna go grab the laundry and we can get that put away together I think I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the vlog there. Brought up the laundry, folded that all, put that all away, and then I just went and blow dried my hair. Now I'm gonna be switching my focus for the rest of the day pretty much to packing and getting ready for our trip to Acadia. So mid-year reset is all set. I hope this brought you kind of a sense of freshness, maybe some inspiration to implement something for yourself to set you up for success for the rest of the year ahead. I know I feel really good just kind of having that like refreshed focus on what my goals actually are for the year, what I'm working towards. And also just having a clean space makes such a big difference. Got those fresh plants and everything. I didn't end up having time to go through my closet and decide on some things to sell and donate, which is one thing I wanted to do on this vlog, but that's totally fine. Hopefully I'll do that with you all in a vlog coming up sometime soon. If you made it all the way to this point, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. My channel is still teeny tiny and your support means the absolute world to me. So if you haven't already, please Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you all in the next one.